fall. The bad boy. Rocks. The big screen. It's coming. Hey, baby. Long time no see. When the enemy strikes. Did you bring the money? Do you have the disc? Simon is the man for the mission. This is classified U.S. military software. But when they get too close to home, Clear he hit back. Tell me what's going on before I go Picasso in your ass and rearrange your face. Now Simon and his team. Excuse us, excuse us, Major Gun Battle coming through here. Are teaching everyone how to play, Simon says. Preston here at the Bailey There channel here with another really random, really cool, really bad, really fun review for you guys. Uh, really excited tonight. Uh, we're going to try something a little new here. Uh, first with me, as always, is David Lee Harvey. What's up, David? So, you know, this one should have been a Harley here. Um, but, you know, sometimes... Some... Thank you very much, David. And also on the line, <laughs> <laughs> we have a returning uh member here who helped me review a movie in the past we have jeremy thompson what's up jeremy <laughs> hello <laughs> i passed <laughs> That's that's what they told. That's what they said about a fan base on this movie is that they should not pass. <laughs> There's a fan base. For this they, they did not pass. <laughs> they did not pass. He held the line. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Oh, this is gonna be fun. So we got David and Jimmy here. Oh, we got. God. It takes three people to take on a movie like this. Are we talking about uh, an epic like Lord of the Rings or Avengers or hell, even Star Wars? Nope. We're here to talk about a 19, 1990s classic. Uh, classic. As you guys may know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's something. <laughs> there was a famous uh, basketball player that was dipping into the realm of cinema and movies. And I, well, I wish I was reviewing something as fun as, you know, Kazam or steal <laughs> i'm talking about another uh, basketball player by the name of dennis rodman or in this case in this movie his name is simon we're reviewing simon says the hidden gem the 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 diamond in the rough the <laughs> the the movie that in my heart Makes me understand the meaning of so bad that it's good. Um, Jeremy and I actually just watched this movie uh, just this past weekend. And it was one of the best movie experiences I've ever had with, with the man. Jeremy, I, I never mentioned this before, but I heard you laughing the way I never heard you laugh <laughs> before. <laughs> In I my was... life, you sounded like just like a grown Caucasian male. <laughs> I, 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 and the way I you were was laughing. so blown away by this movie. <laughs> I was so blown away. And it was one of those things where it wasn't, I wasn't laughing because it was bad. I was just laughing because it was so ridiculous. <laughs> it was so ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> like it, the movie itself, I can't even, I, I'll get into it later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was just, it was, you're, you're just laughing and making noises I never heard you make before. <laughs> and, and, um, David just made me aware, like yesterday. I was, either, I think it was either today or yesterday morning. But David, I felt like a kid waking up on Christmas right now to his presents. I saw your messages. I passed out early the night before it. When I saw your text and I saw that video of you watching the movie, just saying, "What is this?" I was like, "Oh my God, he watched it." I finally get to talk about it. <laughs> I was literally, I was just in a state of disbelief. I, the only thing I can just like say was like, is this real? Like, <laughs> just, just literally like a real movie, or are they just f him? You know, like. I mean, they were the theaters too. That's a great joke. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now, if you guys could guess how much money this movie made, just try to guess. If you can get yeah. within ten thousand yeah, dollars of how much money it made, I'll give you twenty bucks. 
<laughs> it's a guarantee, guys. <laughs> it's a guarantee. I, I, I legitimately thought it was like, like at least like you know, like 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 a three million dollars, but I was wrong. If you guys, if you guys know. guess, we'll give you money. How much money? Oh, how much money do you think they made from this movie, David? How much money they grossed from this movie? <laughs> I, oh God. Uh, I mean, they probably with with the budget that they had, they probably made a might have made back a million, maybe. What about you, Preston? I I um I I know in my heart that it most likely did not make its money back. I don't know if the thing was released strictly on VHS or I don't even know if it had a theater release. But even if it did or did not, I don't see it making back the amount of money that that it, it took to make this thing. I, I really doubt it. It did release in box office. So. The, the actual... Oh, God. Jesus. I it can't made... imagine many people saw it. Yeah, it made about $292,000. <laughs> wow. That On a $10 million so... dollar budget. Yeah, a ten million dollar budget, people. That's that's less than a third of what this movie cost to make, and that, or just over a third. It's uh. You said two hundred and ninety-two thousand. Two hundred ninety-two thousand. So Bro, if you multiply insane. that by three, it still wouldn't be enough. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's, not a, that's not a lot for a, a like a almost a worldwide premiere. And then, yeah, like, yeah. If you think about every single person, every single, if every single person spent one dollar on a movie, you know, in the world, it's still like eight billion, right? So mm-hmm. it made like a, a extremely small fraction of the money that they spent to make this movie. So, bro, we can like we can like franchise a Chick Fil A for like a <laughs> <laughs> decent living. <laughs> We could live off that for the rest of our lives and not work a single day if they decided not to make this movie and give them money. I'll be all right. Right? I'll be all right. And that's the only reason why I can imagine anybody would sign up to do this movie is to think that it would make money that it's putting in. Because you have such <clears throat> A-list names like Dennis Rodman starring as the <laughs> title character. <laughs> it says. You love him on the court, you'll love him in France. You have <laughs> Dan Cook. He's going to go places. Nick Miranda. And... <laughs> you said Ed Miranda? No, Nick Nick Miranda is his name. Oh, Nick. <laughs> oh, that's. <laughs> yeah, Nick Miranda. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was, I really don't that remember the... anybody's name other than Sight. <laughs> so his name was like, his name was like the Miranda Rights or something, you know? Was it? Did he make a joke about that? I can't. Okay, so let's uh, let's break this that up. This. Let's break this let's up. Break this. Up. So, so, so uh, normally, normally, this is gonna be a challenge for us. Normally, we start with what we liked about a movie, and then we talk about the things we didn't like about the movie. Right. So, I'm gonna challenge you two right now. Can you guys name one thing you genuinely liked? They're about not normal circumstances. <laughs> 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 I don't how it was a movie that was released in the nineties, like the movie you've been reviewing, David. <laughs> it had a theatrical release starring names that we know. <laughs> On paper, this is pretty normal circumstance. Oh man. Something that something that I liked about this movie that <laughs> <you> ended. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> well, every movie has an ending. I don't know. <laughs> this one okay, one one of the one of the only things I I really did enjoy about this movie was uh <laughs> the one, not 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 both of them not both of them but one of the cyber monks the black one black one uh, <laughs> uh, his name uh his his actual name is Ricky Ricky Harris uh he he passed away like in like in 2001 actually but uh oh, he's Dang. he's played in he's He's played in quite a few, like, uh, you know, mostly uh, uh, black culture, like, movies and things. And mm-hmm. I've seen him in a few things before. He he played on Everybody Hates Chris. Ah, and, um, I knew it was a sitcom. Yeah, I was trying to put the... Okay. But I, I enjoyed him in this movie. It was, you know, like, again, I really think they mismatched his, like, his, like, co... 
you know, star, like the fat, the fat monk in the movie, you know, I think that they, it was just kind of weird watching them together. Like they were kind of funny, but mostly cringy. But, uh, you know, at the same time, I did enjoy him in in this movie. If if okay. I could find a freaking diamond in the rough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you. That's a that's a good one. Uh, that's not the only one. Jeremy, can you think of anything you actually like to <laughs> about I, the movie? I, I will give it. I will give this to them. They surprised me. Now, <laughs> being being uh being a thirty year old. Um, connoisseur of media. Um, I I'm really surprised by things when I'm surprised by stuff. I have to give it to them. They they I did not see a lot of that stuff coming. I, I, like <laughs> not even trying to be funny. Like I know it's it it shocked me. I was shocked by the decisions. <laughs> we'll go over it, but like we'll go over it. We'll go over it. Very. I I, 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 was I understand. Just, they caught me off guard. It sucker punched me. Like I, I have to give that to him. <laughs> just, I'm proud, that's gonna I'm just, proud of both of you. You know this movie. This movie, it definitely is shocking and it's quite ridiculous. And the movie. Because when you see like a bad movie, you're like, there's nothing in this movie that's gonna like make me like surprise me in any way. It's gonna be extremely right. predictable. Like mm-hmm. it's gonna be really boring. I'm not gonna want to watch it. It it met all those qualities and then it <laughs> added a little bit of like spice to it. It did. Yeah. It did. And it and it kept coming. Like when you thought that they were done <laughs> right. surprising you with ridiculous stuff, they weren't. Nope. They weren't. <laughs> they were they not. Just, they just didn't care. And it's like <laughs> don't, like this movie, I don't care. Like I just don't care. Like I'm literally in my house right now making oatmeal. Why don't we review this movie? Because I just literally don't care. <laughs> David forever loyal and dedicated to the cause. Uh, what about those, are, those, are both, those are both good points. <laughs> those are both very good points. I was going to say, even though, for me, even though they were not great, and I, I still have one particular issue with a certain fight scene that involves the... Uh, losing of articles of clothing but other than that most of the fight sequences and the action sequences i remember between simon and his ex and like all this fight stuff with with those two and some not all but some of the gun choreography towards the end they were actually competently made like they were okay they were passable you know they they were actually i could actually see everything and it was even though, like, half the time I could tell that was, like, you know, Dennis Robbins' stunt double or something. Um, or <laughs> a certain cyber monk doing, like, four kicks in the air. As as much as much as I can say, as much as I could say, like, at least they were kind of competently made. Like, they're, like, they were actual some legit stunts and stunt work and fight choreography. It wasn't just, like, just you two just, like, kind of squabble and fight with one another. Like, it was some effort was put into that so i i appreciated that at least uh only again with the hand-to-hand stuff when they do certain stuff with like vehicles such as cars or motorcycle and tunnels it the movie doesn't give a fuck <laughs> but, but when it's just two people fighting uh or shooting at each other it's it's okay enough <laughs> so, okay. okay yeah okay so where do we draw the line on okay enough though like because okay, what? <laughs> <laughs> we draw the line on okay enough though because uh, dog, when Simon was finding his ex in that first part they did not care it's, <laughs> it, it, it literally turned into crouching hidden tiger crouching dragon or whatever because bro like she was effortlessly like like gravity turned off and it was like to it was like to the degree of where where it was exaggerated like kung fu you know yeah. like no it was movie. I was like, dude, like you kept you kept saying we're not in the Matrix earlier before. Okay. So, they were, they were for a minute. Matrix stuff. Dude. <laughs> they were. Did there was Matrix definitely some fire work. I'm not saying it made sense, movie. David. I'm just saying that looked okay. <laughs> My God. The 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 Matrix did come out at the same time as it this. Is. Oh, I can <laughs> see the influence, man. You can definitely see like 
they were like halfway the, through filming the this movie and they were like, hey, we should throw in some, you know, Matrix stuff too. Right. Yeah. Well, we're bringing in our consultant, Keanu Reeves. Uh, <laughs> he probably, probably could have. Oh, um, that loser? He'll never make it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, so uh, you laugh out loud. I'm not gonna lie, we'll but play. it's when when they when Dane Cook and and uh when Simon and Nick they rescued slash kidnapped Claire the daughter, uh-huh. and Nick like stuffed the potato in her mouth to gag her, uh-huh. and Simon's like, why would you put a potato in her mouth? And then Nick goes, I was trying to use grapes, but she kept eating them. <laughs> and, and I was just like. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro. I, I do remember that. I do remember that. Okay. <laughs> I was like, uh, like literally, like this movie just they it doesn't care. It doesn't care. They didn't. They didn't care. They didn't care what direct. They didn't care what they wanted this movie to be. It's like, did you guys really want this to be like an action movie? Did you guys want it to be an action comedy? Comedy. Were you yeah. guys trying to be serious? Right. Were you guys trying to make like a like a like a, a sp- action movie spoof? Like yeah. I felt that they weren't, but it no. almost could have freaking it, been. It, it felt almost like it, dude. Yeah. It almost. Yeah. There's too many like wannabe James Bond elements in it for right. me to think. Yeah, so I'm just yeah, I'm, I agree. I, I was I was lost with the tone, the direction. I loved every second of it. <laughs> I was I was thoroughly entertained by this movie, guys. To wrap it up, if if I just had to give a rating on this movie alone, just based on like, <laughs> just pure entertainment <laughs> and the joy it brought to my life, <laughs> knowing that there was a Preston who knew what that existed. Not knowing this movie, <laughs> I I don't even remember the time before. <laughs> I I would give this movie a duck, <laughs> like just oh, based. Jesus. <laughs> I don't know how much I enjoy this movie, but if if I'm being just like super objective, like as a movie, tonally, structurally, acting wise, that last thing the acting in this movie is is terrible. Even though Dan Cook isn't funny for like ninety percent of it. He's just humping a couch or making animal noises for most of it. He was the only one who felt like he was trying. He wasn't funny, but someone just told him to be the funny guy, do something crazy or zany. At least he, but I still felt like he was genuine, like he was trying his best. So David, like you said, Simon was just kind of like deadbeat, nonchalant the whole time, barely acted like he cared about anything. Um, the badass chick only had one mode, was to be like the badass chick. And uh, everybody else was just like had a weird accent, or it was just one note. Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean, like like you said, David, too. Like this is an unusual circumstance. I don't even know how to rate this thing. I don't either. I, really don't. <laughs> I, don't. I don't. As we have, it's, just, uh, it's we, his own category. Kind of. It almost. Even, <laughs> I was thinking like halfway through this review, guys. Like, do we have to pick up a new rating? Because like, I don't. I, I don't, yeah, I, don't give it a no. <laughs> I don't want to give it a no. Not because I don't think it's terrible, but just like I kind of just don't. Like it it really is my favorite, like so bad it's good kind of movie. Um I kind of want to say it's a movie, but that implies like maybe you should sort of check it out. And I don't recommend this movie to anybody. Like, sure, I got a lot of fun out of it, but it is a really terribly made <laughs> movie. No recommendations yeah. besides torture. Besides torture, or again, if you're like not sober. <laughs> if if I was throwing <laughs> a party, a bad movie night. If I was throwing a party and I just needed a movie to be on in the background with no, no, no noise or anything, that I would put this movie on because people would just be like, "What the fuck is happening?" <laughs> right. Every time there's a little conversation, they would just have to look to the left, like, "What? What is?" <laughs> And what you only have to watch like five minutes, and you get the, you get your own little piece of the movie. That's Cyberbox. Right. Yeah. Is that a bad idea? <laughs> David, did they ever call themselves Cybermonks, or did we just assume that they're Cybermonks? No, I don't even, they were, I don't even they were, know. I remember at the beginning they were called we're the Cybermonks. It was when they were like, why why are those two monks shooting blank guns at Dave Kirk? Right? They were spraying him. They were spraying him. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Like what kind of the one time the movie tries to make it make two characters introduce themselves to another, like, and this is the way they go. <laughs> like what kind of what kind of insidious heinous act is that for right. you to do to somebody? Even right. if he is like the douchebag, like of the movie, yeah. like, there's no reason for them to do that, <laughs> like at all, because <laughs> they were working together after that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you know, you, you this. I I, I I rate this movie. I don't care <laughs> for this movie. I don't care. I might I, be the greatest. Care. Damn. Uh, I'm it's, not even giving it. I can't. It's like it's like a no. It's beyond a no. Like, it's <laughs> like like a no. Like, a no is something that like I, I distinguishedly had had a disdain for i don't no, even have disdain funny. towards this movie i just i just don't <laughs> care, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> this movie was a complete waste of time and money honestly but <laughs> what i will say it, it does have the aspect of like it is probably one of the best bad movies out like if you just need to laugh if you just <laughs> had like a laugh. really rough day and you just right. really need to see some trash right yeah you know, don't, don't watch don't watch love island don't watch you know, like <laughs> You know, um, what is that? Some other trashy TV show. Turn on Simon Says. Relax. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Just enjoy yourself for an hour and a half. Yeah. 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 Because <laughs> yeah, it really is just a crazy, wacky, whatever ride. And I will say, I uh, for all the wrong reasons, sure, but I was laughing pretty consistently <laughs> throughout this movie. Like not. I want like... you. I want you to. Re- I want you to rewatch this movie. Without marijuana, I'm afraid just... I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, well, I don't think you were like <laughs> paying attention. But I've kind of, I've kind of gone back. Like I sent Jeremy. Uh, there's, there's actually a Simon Says people. There's actually like a Simon Says YouTube video where it's just ten minutes of quote unquote the best parts of a movie. <laughs> and I remember watching that like the next day, totally sober. And I was still kind of cracking up. Like, that green screen's terrible. <laughs> this the parachute looks so fake. <laughs> like, I was still kind of cracking up. Um, I and I, I know a part of me does kind of want to watch it <laughs> sober just to see. But uh, golly, I don't, I don't know. I guess I'm gonna give it. Uh, I guess I would also give it. I, I don't care, but I had a really fun. <laughs> I had a really fun time. <laughs> I really, there's nothing redeeming again i'd recommend to anybody you do not need to see it you can go on life <laughs> living being well and happy without needing to see this movie but i'm glad i did <laughs> I'm glad. Have, having fun isn't hard when you got your water bong <laughs> <laughs> having fun jekyll jekyll high jekyll high <laughs> that's how you work this is what it is <laughs> Like that. <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah, so yeah, I would give this movie a, I don't care, but <laughs> I would give it a no if, okay, so this is how you fix this movie. All they had to do was add a little bit of Interpol in it. In the beginning, they, they say, hey, Simon, this girl is uh, being targeted by this villain. Can you protect her? <laughs> that would have That would have created enough narrative for the whole entire movie to just carry itself. Oh, for sure. They, they just they just never established that. They just said mm-hmm. we don't care. There was no parameters. Like it's like yes, like who did Simon work for? Like who gave them money? Who funded know. them? You know, right. like it, like didn't he say he was he was quote unquote retired? He did say that at one point, but it's still like there was no there was no like third party like there was no like a visible like resource you know if mm. if even if he was the the quote-unquote like director of his operation that still wasn't even like like explained you know yeah, i know like there was like press was saying too like there was no reason for him to care about anyone in this movie simon like they could have just said hey simon a good friend of yours uh, daughter is being targeted by a villain oh, okay and that's enough to like push the movie the narrative forward or whatever but like mm-hmm. they didn't even do they didn't even waste time doing that they were just mm-hmm. like fuck it man we already got all the action scenes filmed let's just let's just put it together <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> yeah. 
line in dub. The the part that got me was that almost the whole entire movie was dubbed over. If you pay attention. Oh my god. Simon the chick. Because they, I'm, my assumption is that they didn't have the money to um, shoot outside and then like have a boom mic to like get all the, the white noise out from the background. So that he's mm-hmm. dubbed over all the scenes of when they were outside. Uh, I, I just thought it was because they were mostly bad actors, especially. So. <laughs> that too. Especially, it could be that. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god! It's so. It's yeah, so. Yeah. Pretty, uh, pretty bonkers. Pretty bonkers. You guys excited? We're gonna review the movie that uh, Dennis Rodman came out before this one. Uh, again, I forget the name of it, but apparently also has cyber monks in it. So maybe we'll, we'll get to see the origin. <laughs> I am not joking. I am, joking. I am, not, I am not joking. Simon begins. Oh my god. Simon begins. It never made it. For Nolan drums. It never finished his trilogy. Simon begins. Yeah. Rajah was immortal. Rajah was immortal. Simon Abrams going through the Who's last one. <laughs> JJ is <laughs> done direct. <laughs> And direct the third one, the final I chapter. I don't want to do it, but they keep asking me. <laughs> Give it to me. Keep asking me to fix this crap. I'm tired of fixing everything. <laughs> That's totally okay. I understand why. Yeah. Um, you know, definitely. I don't recommend. I really do not recommend. I had an amazing fun time, but <laughs> hey, I paid for the movie. You know, I I wanted to get high because I wanted to make sure. Like, even though this movie's not going to be worth it, I want to try to get some enjoyment as much as I can. Because <laughs> I know the movie on its own probably not going to do it for you. And I'm so glad I did. Uh, let's uh, see. So, um, one of the reviews for this movie says, Simon says, no matter how starved you are of something to watch, there has to be a better option. <laughs> action. They're correct. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. It's, uh, inescapably watchable. <laughs> inescapably watchable. What does that even mean? It's like you want to escape. And you want to escape, but you can't. Okay. Like you can't. It's so bad. You can't stop questioning <laughs> what is this. <laughs> it really is. It's kind. Of, I I know what they mean by like watching a a train wreck. Like, it's terrible. You don't maybe, need to see it. It's not natural. Maybe the budget was $10 million, but maybe they didn't spend the whole $10 million. Hopefully. You haven't seen anything quite like it, really, so you keep watching. I, I really hope they didn't spend the whole $10 million. Yeah, the producers would waste a shit ton of money. If they... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I mean, $10 million does sound like a lot, especially with the quality of this movie. And then I think about big budget studios, you know, making movies for 200, 300 million. And uh, we always talk about how a million doesn't get you that far, you know. Sure. Anyway, but this was the 90s. The dollar still kind of meant something. And you see how, like, there weren't any big budget special effects. They had, like, three green screenshots, all of them bad. And other than that, yeah, that Cyber Monk B thing they made, I don't see where the money was. Why? Yeah, this is paycheck. I don't, I don't know. Cyber monks as well. Cyber. That's why I'm gonna watch the movie that came out before that. I watched Nostalgia Critics review on this movie. I was surprised he reviewed it. Uh, after we watched the movie, and uh, apparently there was a movie before this one he did, where there were cyber monks. Were well, they the same cyber monks? I don't is think this... so. He said they were cooler in, in the previous movie than this. Which, okay. Still, <laughs> like, they, they can get cooler. I don't think so. <laughs> I agree. It made me curious. Like, well, what were they then? How were they cooler? Like, okay, critic. I like I like your video, <laughs> critic. But you got nostalgic critic, Ricky. I don't know. <laughs> right. Right. I don't know, man. Just don't sit right with me. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, because this is kind, of, it is kind of weird that he, Dennis Robin. Dennis Rodman played in two movies with two different sets of cyber monks, <laughs> and he also <laughs> a different character. You know, actually, I that because that that does kind of give context to why they just threw him in there because the cyber yeah. monks, 
the cybermunks like, hey, he just hired us and trained us to work for him. Right. Yeah. Um, Preston's talking about double team. It's uh, double team. It's another uh, international spy teams up with the arms dealers who escape uh, a penal colony and rescue his family from terrorists. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> let me. Let me. What? <laughs> <laughs> Just what you thought, Craig, did we? <laughs> now this movie, this movie actually looks better than Simon says. This actually, you know what? They, <laughs> This looks like it's a little bit more together. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> Rip. Okay, no, no, yeah, okay. It's it's better. It's not as bad. Uh, it looks like it's straight to VHS, so. Uh, Let me see, double team. Wow. Double team. Double team. <laughs> okay. That's, that right. sounds like a bad, like, uh, Jean-Claude or, or Steven Seagal. Maybe $48 million off this? How much? Forty-eight million dollars. Hey, that's 40? how they made. Yeah, uh, the budget was thirty million, and they made forty-eight. So they used ten of that to make to... Right. <laughs> and they go. They made a major budget cut on his second movie. <laughs> <laughs> they did. I think it went from forty-eight to ten. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it did 11 percent on Rotten Tomatoes, but Simon Says got zero. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I task, I task one of you two who are going to watch Double Team because I ain't. I ain't. <laughs> For David, it could be the perfect Harley here. <laughs> no, dog, Harley here. <laughs> we, it's, we have to have nah, to nah. <laughs> You know what? I understand. I am gonna push you up. <laughs> no Wait, I'm making jokes. Wait, dude, you have to. Nah, I, I get it. it. <laughs> huh? Jean Claude Van Damme is in this movie. In double here. team? Yeah. <laughs> he double teams with freaking Dennis Rodman. That's why. That explains a lot. <laughs> That explains that's probably, yeah, that's probably why I had a, a bigger budget. Yeah. Um. Did, did you guys? Okay. Okay. Again, randomly, just for just. Did you guys think that that cut on his chest that he got was gonna like lead to something significant later on in the movie? I forgot what I remembered Wait, in my head. When did he get cut though? He when he went he went to go confront the bad guy and then he jumped out a window and slid down a pillar, gripping the pillar with his legs while he shot a gun with two hands sliding down the <laughs> pillar. <laughs> the way you describe it. Yeah, the way you describe it makes it sound ridiculous, but like I to see don't itself remember, but, I'm not to sense. but yeah, what what it what I missed it. What was significant about it? Later on, I, there was I, I no, there wasn't. There wasn't anything, but but they play. They they paid like well. Well, first a of all, of they 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 did. They they paid a lot of attention to it, and they made it like they made it like a a thing. Like they showed him like physically get cut on his chest, and then he walked around for like the next twenty minutes with a ripped shirt with a cut on his chest. But they like never like I don't know. It was it wasn't like oh like Simon that's infected. You gotta go to the hospital. Or it was like oh Simon you're bleeding out. Blah blah blah. It's like they they might as well have uh-huh. not even like included that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it just magically healed and he got a new shirt. Yeah, like right. it never it, actually hurt. <laughs> not once. I had a friend uh, who graduated in film. Her job was uh, consistency. In movies, I feel like they didn't hire anyone like that for this movie. Like, mm. her job was to go from scene to scene and make sure like everything was in the right place as a previous scene. I feel like this movie is just they were like, you know what, we could do whatever we want. We have a ten million <laughs> budget. We got you, can, now. you can you can put whatever green screen you can throw. Oh, David, David. Okay, so the fly, the fly in the very beginning, right? It was like all animated stuff, right? Uh. Towards the end, one of the cyber monks is like working on the fly, and it's like ten times the size. Did you notice that? <laughs> yes, the one because it got shot up. It got, it got shot in hell in the lab when the when when uh, MCR went down there on their on their motorcycles. Yeah, 
yeah, it was like this giant fly. And I was like, okay, so maybe they're going to do some weird scene where, like, the fly, when they press the button, it shrinks down to the size of a fly, right? No. Mm-hmm. No, they just they just right. flew the fly out, and it just was just a size of a fly again. Just another fly. But mm-hmm. when, he, when he was working on it, it was like the size of, like, a football. It was. It was pretty <laughs> It was. It was huge. <laughs> oh, my God. I forgot about that fly until they brought it back again. What was the point? I don't know. Was like, was this supposed to be funny? I don't. He's, no. uh, hey, okay. he, he's really good at killing bugs. Like most people aren't. <laughs> he killed that boat real easy. He, he did, did it once. And he's a... All right, he's he Zoro. Zoro. Um, Zoro. Most people look like air traffic controllers trying to kill a fly. He does it <laughs> in like two seconds. I think they would yeah. learn. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. This is something really big. Why Simon was retired? Why was he tailing the bad guy at all? Why was it, why was he trying to get audio to take a picture of the scene? Well, he had a pole needed. He didn't report back. He didn't report back to anyone in the movie. We didn't know that in the beginning. In the beginning, like he was like, I thought we would. <laughs> but we, did. <laughs> we did it. We never got resolution on nope. that. He, he never reported back. No, nope, he didn't. Have a bonus, everything is fine. So Simon <laughs> says. So Simon says, man. It ain't over. Oh, Dude, Dave, yeah. I jumped up. I, was like, I can't take this. Yeah, you did. He was like, <laughs> I was like I can't. Right. And then, uh, on top of that, um, David, do you remember the scene where they're about to go inside his girl, his ex girlfriend's house, right? Mm-hmm. He, she comes home with a dude. I'm assuming that's her house. She comes home with a dude. Simon shows up and his face is covered with flowers. Oh, oh. And it <laughs> off he was like, he was like, I no. Was she, she, so he's there, right? He's there. He pops up naturally like that and behind him. But before, it's like, she already knows it's him. <laughs> so she turns around, what are you doing here, Simon? And, like, his face is, like, pans to him, and his face is covered by the flowers, and he pulls him down, like, what was the point of that? Like, we, we, the audience, we already know it's Simon. She clearly already knows it's Simon. What was the point of him doing that stupid thing? I'm like, oh, it can't get any stupider than this. And the movie proves me wrong, like, two <laughs> seconds later. <laughs> they get into a, somehow a fist fight where they, they're stripping each other naked. Mm. Like, no, I just yeah. yeah. And then the on, whole yeah. Mr. And Mrs. Smith. They we did. did. We did say that. And then on top of that, um, on top of that, so they, they she comes home with a guy, right, David? And he pushes the guy out of the way, and you never see him again. That dude just never goes, see him again. He goes home. Either he died. Or he goes home. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, they're about to fuck. <laughs> right, like how is he supposed to know? Like, right. why did he call the police and say someone, some random man, just showed up and threw me on the floor and, and took my girlfriend into my house? He's like, he's like, oh, I'm good. He's like, yeah. Yeah, I'm good. He's like, okay, they're too extreme for me. They throwing a rave in there. <laughs> the police show up there, like, damn. <laughs> You're like, hold up. <laughs> what are you doing in there? What are you doing there? Oh, no, it's okay, Bob. They're just working out. They're working out. There it is. She's, she's an athlete. She's an they're, athlete. Both, they're both athletes. They're both athletes. <laughs> I want to work out. Click. <laughs> I, I know that they meant to veil her in darkness, but you can see, like, her fucking body parts and like the flash you can see through the flashes you could see yeah. some 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 skin i was getting kind of uncomfortable like why is this <laughs> taking so long not i don't really know what they're about to do yeah not as uncomfortable as the make out scenes but the young couple though that was that was pretty weird because like it, they just cut i think that was one of the first times they first cut to them they were just making out i'm like who are who are these guys why am i watching them <laughs> they were kissing for real they it were Oh my God! So yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a I don't care. It's a I don't care. David truly does not care, <laughs> and I feel like Jeremy, you mostly don't care. I also don't care. I just, 
I knew this movie wasn't going to be good, but again, I got more enjoyment out of it than I thought I would. Again, for all the wrong reasons, but I'm glad. Like, for me, this was the best case scenario where we could just rip into this <laughs> god awful <laughs> god awful movie because we all knew it in our heart of hearts. Anybody with a brain cell could look at that post and be like, nah. <laughs> Like straight I was at, I was at least expecting a a, a plot line. <laughs> no, we didn't. Even nothing get that. was coherent. There was there was, we didn't even get a plot line. Like nothing it, made sense. It just jumped all around. <sighs> That's why I feel like they just didn't make this this movie for anyone with any kind of intelligence, which is kind of strangely insulting because it's like, oh, mm. if you throw a pan in the microwave, it'll explode into fire, or like. You know, like if you shoot, if you break your computer, it could short circuit and explode. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, yeah, it's just I... <laughs> nowhere in a movie I... did they establish like how good Simon was at his job. They didn't say, oh, Simon was the best bike rider. You know, when he was in works for CIA, yeah. he was like the best shooter. Why, why was he in the motorcycles? Yeah, yeah, they're just like, oh, it's Simon, great. <laughs> You're like, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Simon S-E-Z. S-E-Z. When we yeah. first read that title, we were cracking up. Because, we like, <laughs> like it, I said, this movie tries so hard and then tries so little at the same time. Because, like, spelling things with a Z is a very 90s thing. <laughs> and, even the title tries so hard to be cool. Simon says, like, and yet, so the so the title sounds tries to sound cool, but then the poster it's in front of just looks stupid. <laughs> There's fire. He's just staring directly at the camera. There's they have a shot of the boyfriend who I thought was gonna have a bigger role and more screen time, but he did it. And the cyber monks tucked away behind Dane Cook, like it was from beginning to end. Guys, this this movie was all the was, favorite Dutch angles in one movie. Uh, I hate Dutch angles so much. I'm watching uh, a Dutch angle. David is when uh, the frame is off center, like it looks almost just tilted the camera. Right. Um. Yeah, I remember it happened a lot in the first Thor movie. Oh my and god. Then, but no, like, go ahead. I'll, I'll tell you in a second. But yeah, I remember in that movie, like, even though I kind of liked it, I, it is still making me dizzy. Like, I, I hate that, that, uh, that, that way of filmmaking. Where, where, what did you discover, Jeremy? Um, I'm watching Double Team, uh, just like a trailer, and the same Asian guy, who's the bodyguard, <laughs> um, is in the movie. Okay. The exact same uh-huh. guy. Hopefully he had a bigger part. <laughs> uh, no, he's, he's just, he's in all, he's in the same outfit. And he's fighting. He's fighting uh, Jean Claude right that's now. His twin, that's his twin brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so are you telling me like... that? Are you telling me that they pretty much just made the same movie? Is that what you like? What I love? Like it. They use budget? the same resources. Yeah. Yeah. Same actors. <laughs> same henchmen. Yeah, because I guess they're not direct sequels of each other, so. Well, even so, people who saw that movie are going to think, wait, it wasn't that the same guy in Double Team? Like, I don't... Now, now the Asian man is holding a knife with his toes and he's fighting Jean-Claude. Okay, stop, stop. You've given this movie and this universe, the Simon Says Universe. <laughs> the Simon Says <laughs> Trilogy. <laughs> Simon Says Cinematic Universe. <laughs> oh, shit. This movie is actually, you. it's actually, this movie is a little bit more, more put together than Simon says. We'll probably have an okay time with this. That's okay. David has already stated that he'll make it hardly here. So guys, oh, that's yeah. our review for. <laughs> <laughs> All right, new hardly here comment. If you haven't checked out Legend nice. of Core, please do so. Uh, that Another one's really Harley good. Here. I can't wait. Another for hardly team. double team, team David. Yeah, we're all looking forward to it now. Wait, please, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> Stop <laughs> laughing. We didn't even get going yet. <laughs> right. It's okay, David. I'll rent it for you. You just have to watch and review it. 
Um, oh so David's gonna get <laughs> David's gonna get started. David, I don't pay sweet. you to not review movies, okay? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> do I don't, not pay me to not. <laughs> I, said, I don't pay you to, to not review these movies. Gosh, like you so don't movies. pay you to not review these movies. Don't think too hard about it, because <laughs> this movie clearly did. <laughs> not think hard about it. <laughs> So Dave will get oh, that up and running for this. Uh, Jeremy's recording. I'm recording too. So hopefully we get this this movie review up very soon to you guys. I appreciate you guys listening, David and Jeremy. Thank you guys so much for for just watching this movie. I don't think I ever really thanked any one of you for just watching. <laughs> well, not even I for feel like I didn't have a choice. Just watching this movie. It's one of those things where it's like. You know when it's archived in the future, and they're like, "Did anyone actually really watch this movie?" And you could say, "Oh yeah, there's a movie review out, <laughs> barely there." <laughs> they uh, <laughs> they... <laughs> exactly, exactly what it's gonna be. <laughs> yeah, we we found someone. We found what someone. The whole the... gang's there. here. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. So thank you guys again. We, we did it. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Have, a good night. Day. Have a good night. Don't watch this movie. If you find the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah. These days, I...